Hello all. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about the importance of reporting guidelines in research. Why this reporting guidelines is very important in research? This reporting guidelines will give us a checklist based approach for assessing the quality of any journal article or research paper. Each item in that checklist is a standardized item and they give an objective assessment of various aspects of research article thereby eliminating the subjective bias in assessing the quality of research article. These reporting guidelines increase the transparency of research. The overall purpose of this reporting guidelines is to increase the quality of the research. We can use this reporting guidelines in three important ways. One, when we are writing our own manuscript, we can use this report, reporting guidelines and maintain the standard of our research paper. Secondly, when we are doing a peer review or reviewing an article, we can use this reporting guidelines as an objective assessment for the quality of the Third, when we are critiquing a journal in our journal club presentations, there you can use this reporting guidelines. So this reporting guidelines are commonly categorized based on the study designs. And sometimes there are guidelines for how to make each section of the research article or the, your scientific report. And there are guidelines classified based on the research area. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the most common classification for this reporting guidelines is the study designs. So, based on the study designs, the most commonly used reporting guidelines are presented here. CONSERT is the commonest reporting guidelines used for randomized control trial. Here is the CONSERT checklist. This is a 25 item based questionnaire where you can assess objectively the standards of a randomized trial so we have all the items here you can see this similarly concert flow diagram is used for representing the methodology section of a randomized control trial we have strobe guidelines for observational studies separately for case control cohort and cross-sectional studies when we are doing systematic reviews PRISMA reporting guidelines are used. When we are preparing study protocols, SPIRIT and PRISMA P, here you have to note it is PRISMA P, P stands for protocol. The other PRISMA is for systematic reviews. When we are doing diagnostic or prognostic studies, we use STAD or tripod guidelines. Case reports, we use CARE guidelines. Clinical practice guidelines, we use agree right guidelines. Qualitative research we use SRQR CORAC guidelines. For animal preclinical studies we use ARRIVE guidelines. For quality improvement studies we use SQUARE guidelines. For economic evaluations we use CHEERS guidelines. If you are not confident in classifying your study design then you can use this decision tree to decide on what reporting guidelines you should use. You have to start here was the research on humans. If no, then it is an animal preclinical studies. Then you have to use ARRIVE guidelines. Same way you have to use this algorithm. Then you, you have to decide on which reporting guidelines is suitable for your research. So now where can you get all these reporting guidelines freely downloadable, editable, you can access in equatornetwork.org. Now I am trying to navigate this equatornetwork.org. This initiative is hosted by University of Oxford UK. So they have all the reporting guidelines at one uh, destination. So you can see here, you can see the study designs categorized and the most commonly used reporting guidelines for each study design is represented here. So that you can uh, witness. If I am just clicking on here, study design, as I mentioned, this reporting guidelines can be categorized into study type, clinical area and section of report. So where you can access this site. So this is for randomized control trial. All consort related guidelines will be there. Guidelines which is marked in green are the most important one. 
only for experimental studies we have 35 important reporting guidelines so if we look at animal preclinical research the first guidelines that is arrive guidelines is the only important which is marked in green here so which means this is more important so the most important will be shaded green so you can navigate this website you can select the study type all the different study designs are available here based on which the reporting guidelines can be easily accessed and the clinical area where the reporting guidelines are focused that also can be uh, accessed then here the section of report can be accessed so any guidelines particularly for the section of the report is given means you can access to sum up the reporting guidelines are checklist based objective assessment tools which are standardized helps in increasing the transparency of research and the quality of research and you can get all these reporting guidelines easily available freely downloadable in editable format in equatornetwork.org thank you very much